Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. Those players could be passed for a score. Hey, Seifert's down. Kirby G's Diner is a 1950s diner that was established in around 2008, and we have now become famous for hamburgers. Hey, it's just a good place to come and, and hang out and, and have a burger. I always find something different. That's what I like. I like the old time stuff, you know, the tables and the chairs. Along the walls here, you'll find lots of 1950s photos and posters and things. My father-in-law, Kirby Godsey, was a soda jerk in the 1950s. <laughs> Now your turn. So we asked him a lot of stories and we got some feedback and part of that was um, the white checker floors that you see, it was having the chrome chairs and, and the high stools and things that people love to see. If you look at our menu, everything in our menu is named after something in the 50s. Believe it or not, customers love it. They come in and they read the menu cover to cover trying to find out, you know, what was this movie or what was this name or what was this song and the younger crowd come in and they ask a lot of questions, you know. That looks familiar here. Can you explain that to me? So, probably the biggest one that we get a lot of questions about is the little rascal. I love the music, I love the fashion, I love everything about the 50s. I like how they have the paintings on the wall, I like how they have the cool bar stools. You can look around and see, you know, a lot of James Dean stuff yeah. and Elvis stuff, and you know, it's, it's, it's kind of cool. It's a lot of fun because on the weekends they'll have bands on a Friday night or a Saturday night. So on the other side here, you can sit there and be with your friends. It's, it's just a lot of fun. Hamburgers, hot dogs, sandwiches, salads. That's exactly what they had in the 1950s. Um, we follow a trend with that right here. We've started out, we have your basic cheeseburger, which was popular at that point in time, to items that we have recreated or created specifically for events like the World Food Championships. The food's fantastic. Um, just been eating those green beans and they're addictive. Green I think I'm going to have to cancel it. the brisket burger. <laughs> I ate too many of those. Yeah. So you have sweet, salty, sour, savory, and spicy. In some form or fashion, we try to combine those together, and it makes a burger or sandwich that is just phenomenal. I, I'm a burger guy, so yeah, that's that's what I eat every time I come. Black burger. and blue yeah. burger. Yeah, it's great. It's got bacon and blue cheese crumbles. Yeah, it's really good. One of the things that makes a great burger is the blend of meat you use. So the best blend is typically an 80-20, and there's all kinds of things you can do with that. It's got good food, hamburgers naturally and so forth, but lately I've been into these wraps. So what happens is instead of getting a hamburger on a bun, I just have them put it in a wrap, and it makes it a lot easier to eat for me, and, I, and I've enjoyed it a lot more. There are a lot of people here that also like the fact that we do hand spun milkshakes or the old timey sundaes or floats. All of those items fit into that 1950s thing so they really, really like that. It's a lot of hard work on a little restaurant. A lot of that takes patience. It takes good staff. The waitresses have always been great here. They're great. Everybody's it's always friendly, always nice, fast. Okay, it's the brisket burger with mac and cheese. Yeah, and then your Jerry Lee on the hoagie with lettuce. Thank you. There's so much more competition out there. For a long time there weren't hamburgers. Now there are a lot of hamburger places coming here and I, I, I give credit to that because of the fact that we make the hamburgers here. One of those is Rickles Wickles Burger. Um, it's a play on words for Don Rickles. I me. We use Wickles pickles in it, but at the same time, we also have some heat to it, so it's a little bit of everything. We use a toasted bun, and we put pepper jelly on one side of the bun. We use a, a Wickles relish. It's a tangy relish, so you get sweet on one side, tangy on the other side. We top it off with an egg. Customers really do love that burger. We have a lot of loyal customers that are here. Many of them have been coming in since day one. And if it wasn't for those loyal customers, we would not be here right now, but they've stood by us through the years and supported us and made us into the place that we are today. I've been coming here for years. Neil, who owns it, always been a great guy, and the food is just spectacular. I think they just care a lot. I mean, that's the big thing, is that they really like what they do. I know uh, for a fact that they always have fun when they're out there. It's a family business. It's not a you know franchise where they're all the same. It's it's a good home feel, which yeah. is great. You know, it's We're a family operated oriented place. Um, lots of families come in, hang out, enjoy themselves, and, and when they leave, we want them to feel satisfied as well as their kids.